me and John Chow with WayToIndy.com. Today talking with Jordan. He was a musician from Vancouver, Canada. Um, we're going to talk to him a bit about his music, about himself, and get to know him a little bit better. So without further ado, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing well. Awesome. Uh, could you go ahead and uh, give us a little bit of an introduction to yourself, uh, who you are, where you're from, stuff like that? Sure. My name is uh, Jordan Clausen. I'm from um, Vancouver, British Columbia. And I make uh, folk, pop, whimsical music. Awesome. So a mix of genres right there. Um, yeah. Where did you get your start in music? Uh, was it something you did growing up? Or like, where does that, your musical come from? Um, I, I was raised in a pretty creative family. At least um, my mother uh, was a musician and uh, is, is a visual artist now. And a... A potter um, so I've always kind of um, when I, I guess uh, the, the times when I'm thriving I'm, I'm making something and I think just at some point the pendulum swung to music and it kind of stuck so I think I've been been writing and recording since for like the last 12 years sweet so yeah. um, like you said you started when you were but 12 years ago, where did the inspiration come from? And I know you said you've come from a creative family and everything, but where, for you personally, where did that inspiration to, you know, write your first song or get that first thing out there? Uh, I don't know. I think, I mean, there's, I think when you're kind of inclined to, to write um, and to, to create, um, I, I guess, you know, just like everyday life would be, um, inspirational friends and faith and um, uh, other art. Um, so I guess when I first started, it was just kind of the the glee of kind of being able to to arrange songs and make music that I I guess at, at the beginning you you kind of spend a lot of time imitating other people that you like. Um, but then it, it kind of moved into the idea of making something fresh and trying to like push boundaries or at least my own creative boundaries and so yeah I find that inspiring I find that inspiring to make something that is brand new that's never been kind of that's never been made before cool we definitely hear that in your uh, your sample that usually saw noise trade you can definitely hear that it's got a unique sound to it so you're it's got a great sound so um, speaking of that your new LP repentance comes out soon I believe so within the next it, it came out at the end of September oh it did there we go yes so it did come out so what was uh, what was the inspiration for that and um, what was it like going through the process of making that because your previous EP that came out was kind of it was a slower one there was one that wasn't you know all that there but this one is something it's your sophomore release correct that you're coming out with your second release Kind of, yeah. I, I, well, I, I kind of actually, I released two records independently before the, those two, so this is actually my fourth album, but these are these are kind of the releases where I've been doing this full time and kind of have a team behind it. So in, in some ways, it's kind of my sophomore release. Gotcha. Yeah. So... Um, I, yeah, sorry? Go ahead. It was uh, just uh, the process of making it. What was that like for this yeah. album? Um, I think... Uh, for me, it was it was a lot about um, kind of delving into the idea of of just kind of what it means to be in your twenties and like making sense of um, what you are and and what you believe and um, I think it's like I don't know it's not hard for everybody but for me it's been really a pretty my twenties have been difficult and just kind of figuring out um, yeah figuring out who I am philosophically you know and like kind of facing fears. Um, facing, um, looking at, at, at things that maybe are, are scary to look at, looking at ideas that are scary to look at, um, and also just um, how, what, how am I showing love to other people, to my family, am, am I a good person, am I a bad person, those kind of questions. So um, I think in, in some ways the record is kind of about um, depression and um, kind of facing depression and um, hoping that it goes away. Um, yeah, 
I, I guess that's the best. I mean, the, traditionally the word repentance or in, in kind of the religious imagery of it is the idea of turning away from something ugly and turning towards something beautiful. And so that's kind of what I think the record is about, is just looking for beauty and and being honest about um, the ugly but looking for the beautiful, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Is that the is that the kind of message that you want to get across with this album? Like, uh, that whole turning away from the ugly, going to the beautiful, and looking for that, you know, the search for that? Is that what the message was for this album? Yeah, I th I'm kind of. I mean, I think... I don't know if it has a message as much as just kind of a, you know, like a an expression. I guess I'm I guess I'm trying to communicate. I guess I'm trying to communicate hope. Yeah, for sure. But that's not. I I mean, I think um, I think everybody is looking for hope. So that's not that out of the box. <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess I guess I'm just wanting to be honest, wanting to give like a, an honest account about at least my experience of figuring out what who I am and, and kind of what I believe in and the kind of the darkness that accompanies that. Cool. Okay. And uh, you just finished up doing a small tour, correct? What was that like? Yeah, it was actually a pretty big tour. It was New York and back. So, And I'm on the West Coast, so coast to coast. Um, it was good. It was... Um, a, it's Tour life is difficult. It's not like an easy way to live. It's not an easy lifestyle. Um, so there are definitely some hard lows where everyone hates each other and <laughs> everyone is tired and not eating well and um, people just want to be home and every, um, yeah. But then there are also the times when you're like, man, I'm traveling around doing what I love, you know, seeing um, amazing things, seeing great cities, drinking great coffee, um, and uh, yeah, then there's, yes, yeah, so there's those moments too, so it's, I'd, I'd call it like a very dramatic time, it's uh, lots of high highs and low lows, but in the end it's something that I always look back on with, um, in, like kindly, I, I like it, I think. Cool, and where do you see your music going from here, um, what's the plans for the future coming up? Yeah, uh, I see it, I mean, I see a lot more touring, I see a lot more touring in the States, um, Canada is actually some, a place we spent a lot of time touring the last few years, um, and, and America is brand new to us, so, um, I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to tour more in the States, I'd like to spend some time in Europe, um, and I'd also like to start, you know, thinking about a new album, I, I know that's kind of classic, classic musician to, like, always be thinking about the next thing, but, um, we actually won a, a bunch of money in Vancouver um, mm -hmm. last year, so I, I have some money to put aside for the next record, so I'm starting to think about that a lot, too. Awesome. We can't wait to hear it, and we definitely hope that you come to Houston. At least I hope that you come to Houston on your next tour, so keep that in Me mind. Me, too. Awesome. Me, too. Um, so before we wrap up here, what's one interesting thing that people don't know about you? One interesting, interesting thing. Um... Well, I was, uh, I, okay, I was in a Broadway musical when I was in the seventh grade, um, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat hmm. in Vancouver. Um, that's, I guess, kind of interesting. I was in the kids' choir. Um, that was the late 90s. And then also, to kind of add to the Broadway, um, the Broadway track, uh, I was, I was asked to audition for Spider-Man the Musical this last summer um, in New York, wow. which was very, very odd and terrifying. But I flew out and didn't get it, but gave it my best shot. So. Awesome. That's, that's yeah. quite interesting, actually. Um, so anything to say before we wrap up here and finish off? No, I mean, just uh, thank you for the opportunity to... to talk to some some Americans we're we're really not all that much different um, and I look forward to spending more time in, in your beautiful country awesome well we definitely hope you'll come visit us and then we'll come visit you sometime as well yeah hopefully. sounds good Vancouver's yeah. beautiful I, yeah we'll go
Okay, <laughs> anything cool. to get us out of the, uh, especially anything to get me out of the Houston heat is perfect. So, um, I I was raised in a pretty creative family. At least um, my mother uh, was a musician and uh, is is a visual artist now and a a, a potter. Um, so I've always kind of um, when I, I guess the, the times when I'm thriving, I'm I'm making something and. I think just at some point the pendulum swung to music and it kind of stuck. So I think I've been been writing and recording since for like the last 12 years. Sweet. So, yeah. as I do, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing well. Awesome. Uh, could you go ahead and uh, give us a little bit of an introduction to yourself, uh, who you are, where you're from, stuff like that? Sure. My name is uh, Jordan Clausen. I'm from... Um, Vancouver, British Columbia, and hey, this is Manjot Chow at thewaytoindy.com. Today, talking with Jordan, who's a musician from Vancouver, Canada. Um, we're going to talk to him a bit about his music, about himself, and get to know him a little bit better. So, without further ado, and I make uh, folk, pop, whimsical music. Awesome. So the mix of genres right there. Um, yeah. Where did you get your start in music? Uh, was it something you did growing up, or like, where does that your musical come from? 